Hello, my name is Dr. Tina and thank you for being here with me today. And so today, what I'm going to discuss with you, many have the question about, I've had so many questions concerning doctor of nursing practice and PhD. Many are confused and they tell me, so do I have to take uh, the NP when I'm going to do maybe nurse practitioner as pediatric nurse practitioner i have my um, laptop with me and i will be referring to some articles evidence-based articles concerning doctor of nursing practice in order for you to know that i'm using a very effective sources and so i have doctor of nursing practice degree what is it at all? Many people want to know. So to me, Doctor of Nursing Practice is a terminal degree. So when we say terminal degree, that is the end degree. That is how far somebody can go in the nursing aspect. You can do either DNP or PhD. And both are the terminal degrees anybody can apply or how high somebody can go so far as nurse practitioner nursing in as a whole everything is concerned so from the evidence-based research i put up this is from ellen r gladino and joan v heike so this is how they defined doctor of nursing practice. The doctor of nursing practice, DNP, degree is the terminal practice doctorate in nursing focused on preparing graduates to practice at the highest level of nursing practice to impact healthcare outcomes through organizational leadership, systems thinking, interprofessional collaboration, health policy, and direct patient care that contributes to the transformation of healthcare delivery. DMP nurses are change agents and innovators who create sustainable care and practice models to meet societal needs for equitable, affordable, and quality healthcare across the wellness to illness continuum. Throughout the DNP program, students change personally and professionally as a result of course content, professional experience, and collegial and faculty interactions. So once again, this is from Elaine R. Giardino and Joan V. And the title is Doctor of Nursing Practice Students Perceptions of Professional Change Through the DNP Program. And it's Journal of Professional Nursing, Volume 36, Issue 6, November through December 2020. And the pages are 595, 603. So this is how they defined a doctor of nursing practice. So this is the definition of DMP or doctor of nursing practice. You have achieved certain qualification or highest education so far as nursing is concerned. And that you are able to implement everything you have learned in school as a doctor of nursing practice and you are implementing it in our practice so doctor of nursing practice is a terminal degree the highest degree that you can go just like phd is the highest degree one can go is the same way you can either choose to be a phd holder or you can choose to be a dmp holder but there are some differences between the two dmp is somebody that is trying to be in the clinical aspect of nursing 
and so everything we learn in dnp program the research everything the innovations everything we we did during our school is to learn how to implement all the research into our practice so mostly is a clinical aspect but when it comes to phd phd does typically the research however they do not implement it but they do a whole bunch of research so dnp also does research but we implement or we can take an established research and implement it into our practice to help improve quality of care of our patients so that is the difference between phd and dnp program so for instance i'm a nurse practitioner so i'm going to be in the clinical aspect i'm going to practice with and be taking care of patients i'll be practicing in the hospital or the clinic aspect so everything i've studied as a dnp i'll be able to create or make some innovations and then implement it in my practice i can take some research or do more into detail or by researching evidence-based practice research and then take that and implement it in my unit or in my clinic as a nurse or a nurse practitioner and that is the difference so as a nurse practitioner for instance if i want to implement hand washing into my care i have to research or i have to look for evidence-based research that has been done on hand washing and then implement it in my clinic so maybe 15 uh, seconds of hand washing is a way of killing most microbials or most germs and so i because they have made a uh, research and it has been evidence-based or something that have been uh, done and seen that oh it's effective i can adapt that and implement it in my clinic in my hospital in my wherever i practice also both um phd and dnp you can teach however PhD has more into details or have dealt into details or have done a whole lot of research and so they can work as researchers or they can be uh, doing a lot of research and so that's the most different the difference some of the difference so they do mostly research work whilst we implement it so for instance there was a project i did for a clinic i noticed that there is there there is a gap in our continuity of patient care and i found out that medication reconciliation and hand off communication is a problem that will create issues into that practice and so what I did was I did a whole lot of research about medication reconciliation and the hand of communication and I researched all these articles evidence-based articles that have been done successfully or this project has been done successfully and has been uh, the goal has been reached so i adapt that system and did a whole lot of studies about it wrote a whole book about it and then did a whole lot so what i did was i tried to implement it by first educating the staffs of this 
practice. After educating them, we implement it. We make sure we do it. And then I have to make sure I record, was this successful? Was the handoff done in taking care of patients? When the patient was being taken care of, was the medication reconciled? Some questions I put out that we should ask, those questions are answered. Are patient medication reconciled to see they are not taking to the same medication twice or similar medication twice? All these were done in the clinic. And that is the work of a doctor of nursing practice. However, you have, and that is a degree, however, you have your specialty that you want to practice in. And the specialty are divided into several of them. And this is family nurse practitioner, um, pediatric nurse practitioner, psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner, um, acute nurse practitioner, all these are specialties that one specializes in it to practice. And that is your role you have chosen. Or that is the career you have chosen to do. But when it comes to DNP, it's a degree that you have obtained. And it's the highest or the terminal degree of nursing practice. And that you do more like implementation of research or evidence-based practice to improve how we take care of patients. So, so for us, all these careers are concerned, you can go in because all of them, you can be a master's degree holder and have all those. You can also decide and say, I want to achieve my highest or terminal degree of nursing in that field I'm going to do. But when you become DNP, it doesn't matter your degree you have because the DMP is the same for all these uh, fields I've mentioned about. So you can be a DMP, but you hold a certification in nurse and um, family nurse practitioner, or you hold a, a certificate in a psychiatric, or you hold a certificate in a uh, what do we call a pediatric. So go. Um, so the difference between PhD holder and DNP is that they are all the same level however they are all doctorates however one take the research they have done and implement it whilst the other research do a whole bunch of research and so that is the difference I hope it helps if you have any question don't forget to put your comment and ask the question and I will address each of them and also make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you take care of yourself and drink enough of water to stay hydrated and wear your mask. Don't go uh, into a whole lot of public uh, places where there's a lot of people. Um, stay safe, wear your mask and remember to subscribe if you haven't and hit the like button. May God bless you as you go about your friends today. Happy day. Thank you. Bye.